Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. You can probably hear behind me in the background, there's a little bit of noise going on. And that's because we have made it to the last stage of our fence project, which I haven't got a lot of footage of that just because we've been so pressured on time. But I'm hoping to get some footage of kind of finishing up the fence project and kind of show you what and all has been done over the last three years of building fence and doing the horse waters and kind of show you the finished product of everything so stay tuned for all that but uh, today we're having some more land cleared in order to run our fence because i don't want a bunch of stuff to have to deal with growing over our fence and building the fence on the tree line so we are in the process right now of having this clearing and stuff done so we've been having all this stuff done and you can see where our fence comes around from before. And originally we had that field pushed probably 30 or 40 feet. Well, probably, actually, we've had this field up here. You can see that line around through there. That's where the field originally was. And we had it pushed down probably 50 feet down through here. And that's made it to where we can put our fence around through there and then also have a road around the back side so we can drive around it with the tractor and the razor and all that but also so we can kind of maintain that fence line without it being in the woods so that's what we're doing here today is pushing the woods way back so we can have room to put that fence line but some of these nicer trees like this like this one's a nice walnut he's pushing down uh, we I want to save those for either firewood or saw logs if it's big enough for a saw log, we'll use it for that. If it's not, then we'll use it for firewood. But I just can't stand letting trees like this go. So I've been going over as he's taking them down and I'll saw them off at the root and then cut them off at the treetop and then have that nice big long log in there in order to be able to uh, save whatever we can you see down here I've got a few logs already so this kind of teamwork thing here is actually working pretty good because there's several trees there's a cherry tree right here that I don't want to waste that there's a locust right behind it that's actually not bad and then another cherry down over the hill right there and then up in here I think I'm gonna have him take those bigger trees down too just to clear that area out and those actually will make some nice firewood logs. So along the way today, I'll try to get you some footage of everything going on. And I don't know if I have much footage of me cutting this stuff up because I've only got my phone with me right now. And there's not much room to set up tripods and stuff. So I don't really want to get stuff in his way. I want to keep everything cleared out. So I'll get you what footage I can and kind of keep you up to date.
we're getting a whole lot cleared out. I've been using the tractor and some of the stuff that's big enough for saw logs and firewood. I've been cutting them off of the root ball. You can see down there, I've got one still sitting there. But I've been cutting those off and then bringing the logs over to piles. I've actually got two pretty good sized piles of logs. And I'm pretty happy about this because not only are we getting the work done, but it's also making back some of the money because this stuff will either be firewood or saw logs. So instead of wasting all this wood and these trees and stuff, then we're gonna get some good use out of them. But if I can get a cord or two cords of wood out of all these logs, which I'd say is pretty possible because there's quite a bit here. If you were buying firewood around here, you know, it's running two, 250 a cord. So that's kind of like putting money back in my pocket you know, we're paying to have the land cleared, but we're also getting product out of it that we're gonna be able to use and not cost us any extra because we're having it moved anyways and, and gotten rid of. I try to utilize everything that I can and get money back on it whenever I can. These walnut trees are stubborn. It really has to go around those roots a lot in order to be able to get them things dug out. Got it this time.
hard to tell on camera, but that is really steep right there. And he just went across that sideways, which I was kind of surprised, but that's what he did.